Welcome to LitBits Audiobooks. Embellishing clothes with applique, sequins, and other decorative items. Embellishment takes clothes to a more creative level with opportunities for personalization. Fashion has always been more than just a means to cover the body. Throughout history, it has been a reflection of personal identity, cultural values, and even economic conditions. One of the most exciting aspects of fashion is how people embellish their garments using applique, sequins, beads, and other decorative elements to express creativity and social standing. These intricate details often tell a deeper story about the times in which they were created, sometimes influenced by war, technological advancements, and changes in the cost of living. The Origins of Applique and Embroidery Applique, the art of sewing fabric onto fabric to create intricate patterns, has been around for thousands of years. One of the earliest examples can be found in ancient Egypt, where decorative elements were added to tunics to indicate wealth or religious standing. Later, in medieval Europe, the nobility began using applique and embroidery on their clothing as a sign of status. In the 16th and 17th centuries, European fashion saw a surge in ornate decorations like embroidery, lace, and jewels. These embellishments reflected the luxurious lifestyles of the aristocracy. The more elaborate the clothing, the higher the wearer's social rank, and applique often involved intricate designs crafted with gold and silver thread. War and its influence on fashion War has historically played a significant role in fashion trends, especially when it comes to the use of decorative elements. During World War I, there was a significant shift in women's fashion due to fabric shortages and the need for more practical clothing. With men at war, women took on more labor-intensive roles, and the elaborate garments of the pre-war period gave way to simpler, functional designs. Yet, during these times, people still found ways to express their creativity. Applique and patchwork became common not only as a form of embellishment but also as a means to extend the life of clothing when resources were scarce. This trend continued into World War II when fabric rationing made luxury materials difficult to find. Women would often embellish existing garments with homemade or recycled decorations to give their outfits a fresh, personalized look. The Rise of Sequins and Glamour Post-War the post-war period, especially the 1950s, saw the rise of glamour in fashion. After the hardship of war, people craved luxury and beauty, and this was reflected in the use of sequins and beads on evening gowns and formal wear. Designers like Christian Dior brought back opulence with their new look, featuring cinched waists and full skirts adorned with lavish embellishments. Sequins, which had been around for centuries, were now mass-produced and became an affordable way to add sparkle to clothing. Interestingly, sequins were originally made from metal, including coins, which is where the name comes from, derived from the Arabic word sikka, meaning coin. However, after World War II, new plastics were developed, allowing for cheaper, lighter sequins, and they quickly became a staple of evening wear and stage costumes. Applique and embellishment as a form of resistance and rebirth The 1960s and 1970s brought about a counterculture movement that was reflected in fashion. The hippie movement, with its emphasis on individuality and rebellion against mass production, embraced handmade clothing. Applique, patchwork, and embroidery made a comeback as people began personalizing their clothes to reflect their personal values. Denim jackets were transformed with embroidered flowers, and garments were adorned with peace symbols and other meaningful motifs. During this time, many women returned to DIY methods of embellishing their clothing, using applique and patches not only as a fashion statement but as a form of resistance to the growing consumer culture. Fashion became more eclectic and political, and embellishments were often used to send a message about peace, love, and environmentalism. The Economic Influence on Embellishment Trends in modern times, the cost of living and economic conditions have a direct impact on fashion trends, particularly when it comes to embellishments. During economic downturns, people tend to gravitate towards make-do and mend attitudes, where repurposing and upcycling old garments becomes popular. Decorative details like applique and beading are perfect for this, as they allow people to transform plain or worn-out clothes into something new and vibrant. In contrast, during periods of economic prosperity, fashion tends to become more extravagant. 
The rise of fast fashion in the 2000s made it easier than ever to purchase heavily embellished garments at lower prices. Sequins, rhinestones, and intricate applique became readily available on mass-produced clothing, allowing people to incorporate luxury looks into their everyday wardrobes. The future of embellishment, sustainability, and individuality. Today, as sustainability becomes a key concern in the fashion industry, embellishing clothes is again seen as a way to extend the life of garments and reduce waste. Applique, sequins, and beading allow for infinite customization, breathing new life into items that might otherwise be discarded. With the rise of slow fashion, consumers are focusing more on quality and craftsmanship, choosing to invest in one-of-a-kind pieces that tell a story. At Handmade by Sarnia, this concept is at the heart of what we do. We repurpose vintage fabrics and embellish them with applique, embroidery, and other handcrafts, creating unique pieces that fuse the past with the present. Whether you're looking to add a touch of sparkle to an old dress or create a completely new look from scratch, these embellishments allow you to express your creativity while making a positive impact on the environment. Conclusion the history of embellishing clothes is a fascinating journey through time, revealing how fashion is shaped by cultural and economic forces. From the grandeur of medieval royalty to the post-war glamour of sequined gowns, decorative elements like applique and beads have always allowed people to express their individuality and adapt to the world around them. Today, in an era of conscious consumption, these timeless techniques are more relevant than ever, offering a way to create unique, sustainable fashion that honors tradition while embracing the future. By Sarnia de la Mer, founder of the Elderessence Lifestyle Project and the blog Handmade by Sarnia. This was a Lit Bits production published by the Tale Teller Club.